Today on the channel, Long Game Players Unite as we take a look at the PCS statue of Grimlock. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another PCS statue unboxing and review and historically we have unboxed G.I. Joe figures of these G.I. Joe statues with Cobra Commander, Destro, Serpentor and I'm playing a little bit of that long game on the Baroness, I still need Baroness. One of these days, I'll pick her up. As you guys know, got to get a deal out there. But today, we're taking a look at Transformers Grimlock. And this Grimlock, the minute I saw this on the store pegs at GameStop, I said, I have to have this. I want this. But then, I, of course, saw the $69.99 price point on the bottom here. And I said, there is absolutely no way I am paying $69.99 for this. Uh, I don't care. I'll play that long game or I'll just pass on it was my plan. Well... Black Friday rolled around, I decided to go into my GameStop, and I went over to the clearance section, as one always does at your GameStop. You gotta check the clearance, see what's there, maybe you gotta get a deal. And that's exactly what I did. I saw this, $24.99, I could not believe it. I said, holy cow, $69.99 down to $24.99. And then I remembered, hey, I had a $5 gift card. You get that $5 a uh, month if you're a part of their plan, eh, look it up if you wanna be a part of it. But hey, that's gonna knock that down to like $20 for me. And then for some reason or whatever, I had another $5 credit on my account. So net net, I ended up getting this for $15. That is the definition of gotta get a deal out there. And that's exactly what I did. So. Very happy to get this Grimlock at a very cheap price. Let's see how it looks, though, outside of the package on display. And I always say it, Grimlock, the Dinobots, some of my favorite Transformers. I dabble with the Transformers. I have ups and downs. I'm in and out of Transformers lines. I just wish they could stick to a scale, stick to a size, stick, stick to the looks of some characters. And how many Optimus Primes do you need? It just drives me nuts, and I get it. Other lines do the same thing. How many Iron Mans do you need? Stuff like that. But I really want my Transformers, the ones that look the way I want them to look. And especially when we're talking Dinobots. And this is the size I want of a Dinobot. And this is what I've been looking for. I would not be opposed if they made all the Dinobots like this. I'd probably buy the whole set and that's my Dinobots. I don't need them to transform. It's fun. I get it. They're a Transformer. I just want their Dinobot personalities on a shelf. That's all I ask. That's all I want. And that's why I got this Grimlock. Because it just... This looks where what I wanted Grimlock to look like in an action figure statue, you name it. But there he is, big window box going on there. Uh, that's Grimlock. That's his G1 colors. Just absolutely love it. Love me some Grimlock. Glamour shot down below. Got his name, of course. Dinobot Commander Grimlock on the side. You got the Transformers logo. Beautiful Transformers font. Same thing on the other side. You got PCS, the statue company down below. And then, of course, the back, there's that artwork of Grimlock. Then you also got Bumblebee and Starscream. They also have Optimus Prime, Soundwave, uh, Megatron, I believe. So they have a lot of these, but I don't think they're selling all too well. I see a lot of them just kind of hanging around, GameStops especially. But I think you can go online, get these at Big Bad Toy Store and places like that if you want to. I'm always interested to see what more they're going to have in the G.I. Joe line out there. Uh, no words if that line is dead or not. I was hoping they would come out with a flint maybe one day. But let's pull old Grimlock out of the package here. See what we got going on. And beautiful packaging in the back there. There's that Transformers uh, Autobot insignia. You know he's fighting for the good side. He might be grumpy. He might be Grimlock. But we love him. Plastic. See you later. Whoa, we're losing stuff. We're losing a tail. So his tail fell out. But there he is in the plastic prison. You can kind of see how he looks. Big hulking statue, of course. And then look at that. There's that Transformers display stand. Much like the G.I. Joe display stand, they have a Transformers one. So I'm here for that as well. Pop that off. See off to the side. There it goes. Beautiful. No pain issues. No missing pieces. Like that Destro one was missing the fangs, if you guys remember that. So uh, interesting, but we got that. And then you got the tail piece that was attached separately. So I guess we'll put that on first, make sure this is totally done. And that just screws right on fairly easy, actually. Yeah, very easy. Oh, maybe, yeah, there we go. That does screw on. So you do have Grimlock's tail. So now I got Grimlock and there is no mobility here. This is a statue. So the arms don't move, the mouth doesn't move, the legs don't move, nothing. It's just a Grimlock. <laughs> so there's not a lot to talk about here. But it does look like G1 classic inspired Grimlock. If Kyle closes his eyes and says, 
uh, describe Grimlock to me, this is what I'm describing. The gray and the, the button colors on the back, the reds and the yellows, the blue eyes, the mouth open, the small hands that are up ready to go. This is G1 Grimlock. I'm not sure exactly why he comes with a stand, as obviously he stands amazing on his own. But hey, they come with a stand, you might as well use it. Uh-oh, I do see... No, maybe not. I was going to say he doesn't fit, but he does. Beautiful, though. I tell you what, for 15 bucks, sign me up all day long. $70? Not sure if there's enough meat on the bone here. As, once again, there's no articulation to this. This is just a statue. But that being said, you could display this with your other Transformers. Unless you're a kid playing with them, if you're just displaying figures... He'll fit in just great. He'll look there. You know, size is all over the place with uh, Transformer figures, as we all know. That is one of my biggest gripes with them. But this Grimlock, I think he'll fit in just fine with uh, some of your collections out there. Definitely going to fit in fine with my collection. I'm going to stick him on my Transformer shelf. I'm awaiting, hopefully, uh, a better Grimlock one of these days. I do have the Studio Series 86, which I have yet to unbox. I haven't even opened any of those Transformers yet. I will get to that. I'm hoping that becomes my everyday Dinobots once they get the rest of that team out there. Fingers crossed that comes in 2022 because they can't leave us hanging and not finish that team off. And it'll be very interesting with the PCS statue company. Will they finish off the rest of the Dinobots? My gut tells me no. My gut tells me they're not making any more because I don't think they're lighting the world on fire. But man, stranger things have happened. You never know out there. So there it is, Grimlock. It's about what I imagined it to be, and for $15, I would buy this 10 times over. $70, easy pass. $50, easy pass. Maybe $25, maybe that's what I feel it's worth out there. But what say you guys? You guys ever delved into the PCS statues? I know some of you guys have commented you got the G.I. Joe ones. Any of you guys gotten any of these Transformers ones? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I've thought about Optimus and Megatron on clearance, kicking the tires on those. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger, but you never know. But let me know your thoughts if you got any experience with those out there. And like I said, GameStop seems to be the easiest place to get these. But if you poke around online, you'll be able to find them somewhere. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. So for my boy Grimlock, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.